Good day to you. My name is Chelsea and I'm a breast cancer survivor. The topic that I'm going to touch on today is an answer to the question, when will my hair grow back after chemotherapy? So I do want to say that everything that I talk to is really based on my personal experience. So I can't say that my experience is going to be the same as yours, but I do think that it's helpful knowledge to have kind of this breast this breast, this benchmark um, from someone who's been through it. So today I'm going to talk about when my hair started to grow back, what it looked like, kind of what I did to keep it looking tidy. And then the fourth thing I'm going to show at the end is my hair regrowth progress pictures. So you can kind of get that visual as to what your hair regrowth might look like. With respect to my hair journey, the end of chemotherapy was kind of bittersweet. I had really embraced being bald. I found that it was such an incredible experience to have. Every day looking in the mirror, it kind of reminded me of how strong I am and how strong I was in that moment. Just standing up, getting up every morning, facing life, looking completely different than my previous self, but doing it with my shoulders back and really just doing it was basically the huge win of the day. So knowing that my hair was going to start to grow back after I was done chemo, I was really excited, but I was also a little bit apprehensive. I didn't want to lose that that kind of constant reminder of the inner strength that I possessed and truth be told being bald was really easy there wasn't any maintenance to it and you could just get up and go and um, it was kind of fun to rock that um, badass kind of look for a while but it was really exciting that my hair was going to grow back um, kind of almost taking a step towards that person that I had lost, that person um, who I am that I had missed. My chemotherapy treatments were every two weeks. So I noticed at around the 2.5 week mark after my last chemotherapy that there was a little bit of stubble coming in. Like I could feel it. I couldn't quite see it yet. Um, and then at four weeks, it was definitely visible at four weeks. Um, it kind of felt and looked like the little tiny hairs on the kiwi fruit. Um, but what I found really interesting was that the hair, when it first grew back on me, it was coming through white or like almost really, really bleached and it felt very dry and brittle. Now, I don't know the science behind that, um, but I thought that that was kind of interesting. So as time passed, my hair did change to a darker color. So I had kind of like frosted tips and it looked almost like if you've seen people who have really long eyelashes, <laughs> that is not me, unfortunately. It's my husband, actually. His bottom eyelashes and his top eyelashes get bleached on the end. But that's what it looked like. It, I had a little bit of darker regrowth, and then I had the the white or the, the bleach blonde on the end as it started to grow out further, which was kind of neat. I found that my hair grew in equally all throughout it didn't it didn't start in the front or the back or come in patchy it came in very sparse to start off with so the hairs were further apart than i believe what they normally would have been so some of the hair follicles took longer to kind of restart than others so it was a bit of a staggered start so it came in a little bit more fine or thin um, but as time passed more and more hair follicles were reactivated to produce hair and it started to thicken in altogether, which was really nice. In order to kind of keep my hair 
I don't know, into a style, which is what I wanted to do. I continued to just trim around my ears. So I would comb my hair back and just kind of trim up here so that it wouldn't come over my ears and trim a little bit behind. When it got longer, a little bit longer, um, I would take the clippers or go into the salon and get um, the bottom part clippered because I kind of wanted to create a pixie cut as my hair was growing out. So shorter along here and then longer at the top to kind of have a different style. So that was my plan. Um, I kind of knew that I wanted to keep my hair short for a little bit because before chemo when it was falling out, I ended up trying some shorter styles and I discovered that I actually like my hair shorter. And once again, I became accustomed to the easy, which I liked. So I found that was a good method to help me grow my hair out, like left the top, kept on trimming the sides a little bit to kind of shape it into a style. If you enjoyed this video, if you found that it was helpful, I welcome you to subscribe. If you know someone who's going through breast cancer treatment, um, I welcome you to share the link to my page or this video specifically as the more people that I can help, the more people that I can touch with some of this information that I think would be valuable, the better. I wish you the most wonderful day. Thank you for being here with me and we'll see you next time.